From time to time, you may install a new compatible cartridge and find that the printer does not recognize it as a new cartridge. The symptoms of this problem include the new cartridge showing as empty or less than 100% full, the new cartridge not being recognized as installed, or a light that continues to flash as if the new cartridge needs to be replaced. Despite popular belief, the cartridge itself doesn't track the amount of toner or ink remaining. Instead, a microchip on the cartridge registers with the printer, and the printer itself does the tracking based on the number of pages that have been printed since the cartridge was installed. Not all chips are visible on the cartridge, however. When a new cartridge is installed, the printer should recognize the chip and reset to 100% remaining, but sometimes it doesn't register the new chip and gives a reading based on the previous cartridge. If these problems occur, the first step is to remove the new cartridge and reinstall the old cartridge. Give the printer a few moments to recognize the old cartridge, then remove it and once again install the new cartridge. In some cases, this will alleviate the problem. If the problem persists, your best bet is to try a method called the cold start. This will attempt to clear the printer's memory to get it to recognize the new cartridge properly. Remove the new cartridge from the printer and set it aside on some paper or plastic to protect against any leaks. With the cartridge removed, turn the printer completely off with its power button or switch. Next, unplug the printer from the wall or unplug the power cord from the back of the printer and leave it unplugged for at least 10 minutes. Turning off the power is often not enough to reset the printer, as it is still connected to a power source and retaining its previous memory. Removing power to the printer can remove any memory of the previous cartridge that may be causing the problem. Once you have waited for at least 10 minutes, plug the printer back in, but don't turn it on yet. Reinsert the new cartridge completely and close the access panel or the lid, then power up the printer. In most cases, you will find that your cartridge is now recognized properly. If you are still having trouble, the chip or the cartridge may be damaged or defective. If your product was purchased from Ink Technologies, visit our Returns and Warranty page to fill out a return request form. Be sure to visit inktechnologies.com for all your toner and ink needs, where we can help you save money with every print.